Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to part two of Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. My name is Susan LaCroix. I am Julie's mom. We've been demonstrators for 21 years, and we've been doing this for over two years. This is, I believe, episode 130. It's Sunday. It is November 26th. And as you saw in Julie's video, we're back in the mini catalog and uh, we're using um, a suite from there, which I'm going to show you in detail. And um, let's just do that. I get started. <laughs> I'm going to switch to my desktop now. All right. So here we go. We are on pages. 36 through 38 in the mini catalog. Some beautiful samples on here. Um, it, this is the Winter Meadow Suite Collection. And it, there's a lot in this suite. And um, I'll just kind of go through things in detail and then show you some samples and then get started on my project. So I'm going to start with... Um, showing you the bundle and then the designer series paper. And so while I have the catalog open, the colors in this are Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Blueberry Bushel, Moody Mauve, and Smoky Slate. All right, beautiful samples. If you want to get a close-up of the stamp set itself, that is on the following page. No, that's not it. This is it with a few more samples here. And so just really some, just lovely, lovely images. All right, so let's start with the stamp set. It is a cling stamp set. There are nine stamps in here. We've got some um, berries and leaves and some other kind of fern kind of things. A couple of little scenes and three greetings. The colder weather brings us together. May this season of sparkle bring joy and delight and winter wishes. This bundle comes with some dies. There are 13 dies in this set and they um, will die cut the scenes. So it looks like some snowflakes, the, the stamped images, and then some additional images as well, such as the, like the holly and the berries and this holly leaf. So lots of 13, lots of dies. All right, here is the designer series paper. It is 12 by 12, and I'm going to show them to you. So this background, the, some of the backgrounds are just really pretty in here too. This is a background, so I obviously have this flipped over. I do, at least this one. Isn't this pretty? This has got to be one of my favorite pieces in this. It's just so soft and just, you know, forest of trees. I've already shown you this one. This one I love as well. There's a lot of things I love about this paper. But this is some scenes. And if you cut this, you know, six inches and you cut it in four inch um, segments, you could get six cards out of this. And this is just in shades of gray. And each of the, the pieces would then have a deer that you can make six different cards. The background of this is this one. Kind of looks like gray granite to me. And then there's this guy. I am going to be covering that up, I think. These are just blueberry bushel, and it's just some scenes of trees. So, you know, again, the, you can use it just as a background. You can just use a piece of it. You can, you know, die cut or punch circles or other images from this. And the background is gray granite. I think it's gray granite, could be smoky slate. This is just an all over pattern with some leaves and some berries and blueberry bushel and shaded spruce. And I think a little lost lagoon, this is blueberry bushel. And then this piece is um, again, one of those where if you cut it in sections, you can get a bunch of cards that are similar, but yet the, the pattern will show up in different spots on your card base. So I think that's really pretty. All right. Um, and then this one. Unless I started with that one. There we go. Okay. There's another pack of paper in here as well. By the way, this is carrying over. The, the 
and the trinkets, which I'm going to show you, the embellishments. And this paper is carrying over. All the rest of this is going to be retiring in at the end of December. So this is Snowflake Magic. You get six sheets in the pack. It's Lost Lagoon and Silver. And um, this is all I have left. So I have the silver and white background and these snow, foil snowflakes and then this foil paper with some white snowflakes on here. The, the embellishments are these. These are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. So there's three colors. There's like a smoky slate, a white or clear, and then Lost Lagoon. And then the ribbon is really pretty. And this this was unorderable for the longest time. Um, and I do believe it's back in. This is silver edged white sheer ribbon. Very soft, very easy to use. Um, and again, I have very little left of this, but unfortunately this is retiring. All right, let me show you some samples that I have either made or have gotten as a swap. So let me get this out of our way. So I used Night of Navy. I tried Blueberry Bushel, but I just felt like um, it was almost too bright. And I see some navy in here, at least I'm calling it navy. So what I did was I just took a piece, I think probably three by three, and um, punched out a piece of that beautiful designer series paper. The card base I embossed with the snowflake embossing folder, which unfortunately is also retiring. Winter Wishes is stamped in Night of Navy. And this is a bunch of labels and a die set. And I used the trio punch to get these little um, air holes for the ribbon and then just tied a knot from the silver edged white ribbon. What I did then is I put, um, I put dimensionals around here because I wanted to, to give this a little depth. And then I just took um, a piece of basic white. I didn't do the inside of this one yet. A piece of basic white to kind of cover the back of that uh, square of designer series paper. And then I will put a piece of white here and stamp some other images. Okay. This is one with the deer that I pointed out. And I did this at a um, hostess club for, for hostess club. And we use some of the shimmery embossing paste to do the snowflakes. And then just stamped winter wishes. And then on the inside, just stamped a little image of the trees uh, and made this season of sparkle bring joy and delight. I did this one as well. And I really like this layout a lot. There's like this in the corners here are squares, but these are a little bit bigger. They're rectangles. So I just alternated them and then used my favorite <laughs> decal circles. And the colder weather brings us together, added a, a bow and um, some of the gems. And again, I used the snowflake embossing folder to um, to stamp that um, or emboss the, the card base and then just put winter greetings on the inside. This was a um, uh, swap card that I received from Kim Kane. She's a fellow demonstrator in Illinois, and she used some of my favorite paper and then just die cut some of the images and put her greeting on there and some ribbon and some of the embellishments. Now I think I'm going to open this because I think this one kind of flips Should have had this out of the package. Yeah, this has a fold. So kind of a little easel card frame. Isn't it pretty. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I think we're ready to get started on my project now. So I am using a piece of um, uh, Pretty Peacock. It's my card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. My inside piece is going to be basic white, four inches by five and a quarter. 
I have a piece of designer series paper, two inches by five inches. And I have a piece of Moody Mauve, two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch square that I have embossed with the crosshatch um, subtle embossing folder that's on the online exclusive. So this is basically going to, uh, I'm gonna layer this here. And then I've got some pieces for our piece for my greeting, which is gonna go here. Okay, now we're gonna do some stamping. I have a piece of scrap, basic white, and I am going to use my pretty peacock, which is, I've got all over my hands. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this image here. I'm going to leave that out. I know that's going to drive Julie crazy. Um, and I'm going to grab this image and um, some stamp and write markers. And I've got the Moody Mauve and the Pretty Peacock. And I'm going to color. This is how you can get uh, multiple colors a stamped image. So I thought I would just use the colors that were in the designer series paper. Yeah, the tops of the berries have a little greenery on them. this guy away and grab our Moody Mauve. And the trick is always to not get into the green area so your berries stay like that. Now this ink dries pretty quickly So what you're going to have to do is just kind of breathe on it, huff on it um, to re-moisten the ink. All right. So those are the images that we're going to use for the front of our card. And then I went ahead and die cut them so that they're all ready for us. So we're going to set that aside. And we're going to bring in, let's do the um, stamp on the inside of our card. So I'm going to use um, the colder weather brings us together. And I'm going to stamp that right here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of these little leaves. I'm going to have it kind of coming off there. Okay. And then the other thing that we are going to stamp is our winter wishes. And so for this piece, um, oh, I bet I didn't give you the measurements for this. This is one inches by three inches. My apologies. Um, I'll make sure it's all in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp our winter wishes greeting. And I want to put this off towards the um, towards the right, because I'm going to put layer the berries and the leaves on the left side. Well, I don't like that at all. So let's try that again. That's much better. Okay, now, Julie, I'm closing up my ink. And as frequently happens to me, look at my hand. It's all full of ink. <laughs> all right. So let's put this one aside for a minute. And I'm going to just tear the very right edge. Sure I am. <laughs> tear the very right edge. Wow, okay. I have ink everywhere. 
every, every, everywhere. I even have it on the inside of my card. And I'll get out my ink eraser when we're done and finish it. But for now, I am going to respam my outside greeting. So I'm going to tear this. And then I'm going to grab, should have had this done ahead of time. Put my winter wishes here. Close this up before I do any more damage to this card. Leave me a comment. How many of you get ink everywhere when you're stamping? Oh, okay. It's, it can be very frustrating. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere my designer series paper down. And I'm going to go ahead and use some seal. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving this past week. All right, so I'm going to put this right along the edge so that you have an equal amount of card base showing. So before, let's see, yes, I'm sorry, this piece does go down next, like right here. So we're going to go ahead and tear this down right about there. Okay, so now I want to take this piece. So I'm going to layer this. So I'm going to kind of do this and have this coming off there. So I'm going to put some adhesive right about there. Right about there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our greeting down. Oh, you know what I forgot? Ribbon. Got my piece of ribbon. So I'm gonna put it right, a piece right along there. And what I like to use on a ribbon, like especially if it's sheer, is I like to use a little piece of tear and tape. So I'm going to put it, put it on here. Because then you can kind of stretch the, the ribbon over the tear and tape. Like so. And now we're going to put our greeting right about there. I really like stacking images like this. All right, so I'm going to put some adhesive here. And then one other thing I'm going to add is I'm going to take some Wink Estella and kind of get the berries all shimmery. There we go. Give that a minute to dry. And I don't think I have a ink eraser handy. So I'm going to come back and clean up my ink. Isn't that terrible? That's just terrible. Arr. Our inside piece in together. And then the only other thing I want to do is add some gems to this. 
And so the question is, which ones? Do I want to use the clear or these? Oh, let's try these. And let's put one maybe right up here. And another one maybe up here. And then one more down here. There. And that is my project for today's video. Just ignore the ink. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let me replace this. Here I am. <laughs> and once again, here is my project. I really appreciate you tuning in. I know Julie does as well. And uh, leave a comment and let us know what you think of our projects today. Until next Sunday, Stamping with Susan and Julie. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.